Welcome to MG Tracy. Well, among other things, you know, I do like abandoned buildings. So I thought as this is the first one that I have come up to as we head towards Lake Havasu and doing a bit of a troop around Route 66, let's have a look at this abandoned petrol station. Or if you're in the States, an abandoned gas station. It's the, uh, the main freeway there and this is the road we've come off that runs parallel to it. I guess this was once the main road and the freeway took all the traffic away. And then, of course, once you do that, they certainly don't need all the gas stations. I don't know what sign that was. If you do, do let me know. Is that Texaco or something? When you're tripping all the way here um, from Palm Springs, across to Lake Havasu, there isn't a lot, honestly. Yeah. I'm guessing that's the bathroom, or was the bathroom? over there. Yeah, perhaps what? Motel rooms, do you reckon? or something here, that's something I've seen in other people's videos I've always wanted to come across. Yeah, this is all quite solid. I wondered if actually this was never finished. This has a look to me as though it was halfway through being built. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We're doing our really uh, long journey from Los Angeles all the way to Vegas and everything in between. So a bit further along, along Route 66 route, and you can see the sunny that uh, desert. No, desert something market has completely collapsed. Everything's pretty much gone, except the post office is still open. Next to it, it's all boarded. You can see there's another abandoned gas station there. There's loads of abandoned buildings. Uh, this one was the cafe. Still got all the catering equipment at the back. You can see the bar, some of the bar stalls. This must have been, well, it looks like they sold things here. Gifts, I think.
the wind blowing around there. some in there. Actually still smells the coffee. Wake up and smell the coffee. We're at the back here now, there's an abandoned champ van or something. Some cement, postcard displays. These look like bits of an old car, don't they? They're the running panels, some of the wheels there. Can you recognise that car? It's collapsed. Of cement. Oh my god, there's a train in there. I think that is not what I was expecting to find in an old cafe. Bloody train. train. That's something like a set, like a film set train. Yeah. I reckon that's from a film set or something, isn't it? Like, well, is this where it ended or where it was built? But made to look like a train. You've got some things up there that probably smoke generators or something to make it look like it was smoking, but I'm pretty sure Trains weren't built of wood, were they? So it's sort of a garage area, but with a train in it. Another till. Fag machine. That was 
raided a long time ago, that one, wasn't it? It's all very realistic looking from the outside, but a lot of what's done for Hollywood is really interesting until you see inside. A bit of train. Well, that's definitely the most interesting place I've been to inside. I was not expecting to see a train. subscribe if you see all our journeys along Route 66. I just think, was this used in a film? I mean, if you know anything about this, for goodness sake, please drop me a note below. Servicing bays for a garage again, are they? That's so weird. I can't believe I found a train. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back pretty soon, I guess, with the next build along our journey on the way to Lake Havasu.